Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sneaky Wen. I'm the face behind the blog Mom and All. Today I'm just going to be sharing with you my story or my experience of prenatal depression. For those of you who may not know, I am pregnant right now with my second child. I've definitely experienced some form of prenatal depression and so I'm just going to share my experience guys. It won't be specific steps but it will just be my experience and hopefully you guys can learn from it and maybe apply some of it in your or with your own pregnancy. So guys, we hear a lot about postnatal depression when the baby has arrived and maybe the mom just isn't feeling very well afterwards. But there's also prenatal depression where when you are pregnant during your as, and usually it happens during your first trimester where as much as you are pregnant whether it's planned or unplanned you can just be overcome with feelings of doom and just wanting to cry all the time wanting to be alone not wanting to be with people and basically experiencing some form of depression so that's prenatal depression and that's what I experienced with this pregnancy with my first pregnancy I was fine okay there was a little bit and of it being emotional here and there in the the first trimester but after a while I was fine but I found that with this current with my second pregnancy I, I, I didn't want to spend time with anyone I just wanted to sleep as soon as I got back from work I did not even want to be at work I wanted to cry all the time I remember my one colleague saying are you okay are there problems at home <laughs> as if now I'm having marital problems or something is wrong at home and there was nothing that I could pinpoint because it was just something that I was going through that I couldn't even explain to the next person so prenatal depression is real guys and actually one of the things that helped me get out of that slump I know that um, usually it goes away after the first trimester but it sometimes can last throughout your whole pregnancy as a pregnant woman but luckily with me it went away with the first <laughs> trimester so I don't know whether it's because that's when I first started addressing it or that's um, or whether it's because it just was time for it or whether it was the end of the first trimester but anyway that's when it went away so what helped me was I actually spoke to my friends <laughs> we have a whatsapp group and i just told everyone guys i think i'm going through um prenatal depression they were asking me so what what, what are you feeling and i told them <laughs> none of them have kids but they were just there for me and i think it's good to just tell someone even if it's a stranger on the road just speak to someone because that just really makes a difference i also spoke to my other one lady friend who's got um three kids now and she she was just she didn't i can't even remember what she said but she just she was there and i think the important thing with pregnancy is to just have someone who will be there who will listen and yeah who will listen so just speak to someone reach out whether it's online there's lots of bloggers like me <laughs> but there's lots of people who are interested in helping anyone who might be experiencing certain things so just speak to someone so that's what helped me and what I also did was as much as I felt like sleeping and just didn't want to do a lot of things I just got up and I <laughs> I actually went for a 13 kilometer run which is something that I had not done throughout my whole trimester. I wasn't, first trimester, I wasn't running. But I just went for a run and that race was actually good for me. Literally the next day, it's like I woke up <laughs> feeling like a different person. So do some physical activity or something that excites you, something that you know you love, even if you don't feel like it. Because at the end of that exercise, you might just experience like a little feelings of just feeling better so that's what helped me and I know guys it's difficult but make sure that you just tell the people that you stay with so that they are aware like I told my husband exactly how I was feeling I wasn't up to dealing with bedtime with my toddler and so he helped had to step in there and he helped quite a lot so I'd usually just get home from work I'd maybe eat something or not eat at all and go to sleep and then wake up the next day and go through the motions at work and just come back and do the same thing over and over again so just tell those who are around you because they might maybe be able to assist you whether it's to lend an extra help maybe if you know that it was your duty to cook if someone else decides to take that up then it might just be one less thing that is off your shoulders and guys it's also important to just get some sleep <laughs> and i 
obviously don't sleep all day the whole time but when you're feeling tired and drained so sometimes you don't entertain the feelings of wanting to be in bed all day obviously but just sleep if need be and that will just help you it will just give you some it will rejuvenate your body and you'll just might and you might just end up feeling better so guys prenatal depression is real um it's really it doesn't ha it's it it doesn't have anything to do with the kind of person that you are. I regard myself as a strong, prayerful woman who's very I don't know. I feel like I'm a fairly positive person. I'm steadfast in my ways, and I don't conform to the standards of this world. I always feel like my things will always go according to plan, or I'll pray about whatever it is that is going wrong. So I was caught off guard when I experienced this prenatal depression, but it happened so if it can happen to me who regards herself as a superwoman <laughs> and is always positive it can really oh, oh, honestly happen to anyone it doesn't mean that you are weak or anything it's really just hormonal changes because you are carrying a baby so that's um was my experience guys so speaking out really helped me and also just sleeping when i really needed to needed the rest it also helped and just doing what i love which was like exercising and running at the time so guys that's just my story um, depression isn't easy whether it's prenatal postnatal or just general clinical depression that people are going through it is tough it is a challenge to society all the best with your pregnancy and i really hope this video will help someone out there cheers guys